Today I want to introduce you guys to our halflinger pony, Norman. We like to call him the Barbie dream pony and you'll see why. So Norman loves cookies. We actually rescued him this year. He was a previous founder case, so he loves cookies, but he has to have sugar-free ones. Right, Norm? So for Norman, we like to use these herbal treats. Norman likes to make this woofle noise when he knows you're gonna give him cookies. I'm gonna see if he'll do it today. Norman, <gasps> what's a cookie? Do you want a cookie? Yeah? You want a cookie? Oh. There's one. He also does this really funny thing with his lip. I don't know if you can see. Norman actually needs his mane pulled today. Halflingers are known to have very thick manes and tails, and I've been pulling his constantly, but I'm gonna re-pull it today. So I thought I'd show you guys that and introduce you guys to Norman. He's one of my favorites. So the first thing you'll notice is that Norman's mane likes to stick straight, straight up. But hopefully you can see too that even though I've pulled it a few times, this mane is halflinger's manes tend to be pretty thick. So I'm gonna comb out the mane. When I go to pull the mane, I'm gonna grab at the bottom like this, and then I'm gonna use the comb to slide some of that hair up. And I've seen people wrap the comb around, but when I do that, sometimes some of it, as you can see, breaks off. So what I like to do is I comb it down, I grab down here like this, and then I pull down with my hand, and then I don't have any breakage. So, I'm gonna show you guys a couple more times, and then I'm gonna comb through the whole mane and do the whole thing. So we comb it down, grab the bottom, Use the comb to brush it up. And we're gonna pull down like that. And Norman wants more cookies, of course. Pulling wise, I do this to thin and shorten at the same time. If I want to achieve only one of those, hi Norman, I'm not gonna pull it because if it's, I don't, I can, I have made mains too short before by pulling them. And um, I also don't wanna take a thin mane and make it thinner. Norman's is very thick and too long, so pulling works out. Hi, buddy. And notice I'm reaching and grabbing with my whole hand to pull that out. Everyone's first question is always, does it hurt? And no, it does not hurt them to pull their mane. One other um, tip that I would like to point out is to not grab too much of the mane at once. We wanna do little pieces at a time. If you grab too much of it, sometimes it's really hard to pull out. So it's better just to grab little pieces at a time and pull out and then comb through. So hopefully you guys can see the difference from this angle a little better. I've been pulling this part right here, which is much thinner than up here. Up here is still <laughs> like a giant fro. So we still have to work on this part. And this part is longer too by a lot. So hopefully that you guys can see that. today I have really bad carpal tunnel so I can't pull mains for hours on end but that's all the hair that has come off today and hopefully you guys can see the difference lengthwise you can already see the difference in this half and this half <laughs>
Okay, let's have a real moment right now about the winter slump. I definitely struggle with motivation this time of the year. And I think looking back to winter last year versus winter this year has been polar opposites for me. So, for instance, last winter I had just gotten into eventing and I was super motivated all winter to work on my dressage and work on my flat work and build a bond with the horse I was working with. And this winter, as we're going into a second year working with the same horses, I am lacking motivation. And I've been struggling with that. It's, it has not been fun. So I just wanted to give you guys some of my tips and tricks to surviving the winter slump and things that have been helping me stay motivated during this cold <laughs> and somewhat or at some times miserable time of the year to ride. So my first tip is to drink coffee, more coffee, drink lots of coffee. <laughs> I also think that goes hand in hand with this fabulous red and goat suit, insulated equestrian suit that my trainer Allie got me for Christmas. Just saying, I'm wearing a t-shirt and leggings under this thing and it is so warm and cozy. Everyone should have one of these bad boys. It just makes your barn life so much better. I'm still really bad at this. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I would say number one is to get a buddy system. Um, that to me has helped a lot. There's a lot of days that I am here alone managing all the horses and taking care of business and I get halfway through my day. I accidentally let the water overflow. Nothing new to see here. I do that all the time. Anyways, so I try to coordinate with a couple of the girls and ride with them to, to create a, an accountability program. Just like working out at the gym or anything else that you need accountability for. Sometimes this is a really tough season and we gotta kick on through it and get a buddy. The second big thing that helps me is researching and going to clinics. We recently went to the Boyd Martin Clinic and following a lot of those professionals that are constantly posting on their Instagram or YouTube and finding things that I can work on. The third thing would be also I have found that I really enjoy finding not only my in-barn community but finding other eventers online on Instagram and YouTube again. Seeing what other people on the same level of competition are working on. I just try to find things to motivate myself, things that I want to try. I, I, I love watching people that are better than me because it just makes me want to be better. And um, fourth thing, I, I recently decided, uh, or I recently stumbled upon my dressage test from last year and I kind of went back and read through some of the things that the judges felt I needed to work on. Granted, I'm riding a different horse, or I'll be competing a different horse this year, but I thought that was just something I hadn't really thought to even look over. Like, why not continue to remind myself what I needed to improve on during the competition season? I also am just so looking forward to eventing this summer and I think if I look at it like okay the week goes by pretty fast and we usually get to go to a combined test in like May and start doing some pretty serious stuff in April so it's already almost February February March April I mean we're almost we're almost there <laughs> if you guys have any specific tips or tricks to staying motivated during the winter time, please comment below, let me know. Kick on guys.